most of the time this question is asked why chair form is more stable than uh, sorry why beta form is more stable uh, than the alpha form okay or why the beta pyranose of glucose uh, is abundantly present in nature the first thing that we need to understand is the cyclic six membered ring it always exists in chair form so this is the chair form and uh, in fact there are four uh, for six member ring there are four forms chair form twist boat form boat form and half chair form out of which the chair form is the most stable form and we have already seen that uh, glucose can form two structures two types of structures furanose pyranose structure so this is a pyranose structure now it doesn't exist this way the way it is look we can see over here but it is existing it in chair form so this is called as the chair form so now how to draw the chair form so this is first your chair form this is how we chair form is like this but we have the heterocyclic oxygen over here so we will place this oxygen over here so start numbering uh, uh, each carbon atom okay so we will number these carbons and we will see how to draw that always remember in chair forms for chair form there are equatorial and axial position so starting with this carbon atom draw the axial bond down then alternate up down you have to draw so first we will draw all the axial bonds okay these are the axial bonds and the cross ones are the equatorial similarly here so this is axial equatorial now you fine actual equatorial we drew now let's place the groups now what you need to remember here is uh, groups which are above and below the have auth form are also placed above and below in the chair form so let's start with the first anomeric carbon atom so this is our anomeric carbon atom where is the oh group down h up so exactly like this second oh is down okay third OH is up that means it will go over here on the equatorial fourth OH is down okay, there is some mess over here wait let me clear it hmm. now OH is up uh, sorry OH is down H is up what is there on the fifth carbon atom so here there is H so which it, it goes down over here and here which group is there ch2h so i you can put that ch2oh like exact like you can simply write it or this way or you can put it this way also okay this was the alpha form similarly you can draw beta so draw a nice chair number it or first draw the axial equatorial i told you alternate axial first draw the axial alternate then the equatorial so quickly draw that and same thing where is this OH up so here it goes on equatorial next exactly same so just copy the previous one or you can also go according to the previous structure now I just look at these OH groups in the first uh, in the alpha anomer here you can see the OH group is on the axial whereas all the other OH groups are on the equatorial even the CH2 group which is a bulky group is, is on the equatorial in this case this OH is also on the equatorial okay so here the anomeric OH is on the axial here the anomeric OH is on the equatorial whereas all other groups all other bulky groups we can say all other bulky groups are equatorial here all the other groups are also on equatorial that means everything is on equatorial being on equatorial it is more stable it is sterically less hindered so whenever any bulky group is there on the equatorial position it is always less hindered the groups are you know far from each other and steric hindrance is very less being on equatorial position the compound becomes more molecule becomes more stable so if you look at the beta anomer all the bulky groups all the oh groups including the ch2 oh group are on the equatorial carbon atom and this is the reason why beta pyranose is more stable and being more stable it is abundantly present in nature so 
this is the reason and the only reason alpha is comparatively less stable because one group one OH group is on the axial so definitely uh, it will be having slightly more energy than the beta anomer and hence beta form is more stable than the alpha anomer okay